as promised this week we're going to review the pro art can we see that there the Edario pro art exp 45s now they're coated silver plated wound clear nylon coated silver plated wound bases clear nylon trebles um they're slightly lower tension than the e j 27 ns i had on there before the classical student strings these are only 81 pounds total tension and i think the student strings were 83 pounds or something like that um now it says here that they're, they're coated classical strings our exclusive exp coating is applied to the wrap wire at advanced compositive bases before winding to ensure each string has powerful long-lasting tone while remaining corrosion free so one of the reasons i actually bought these is because they're supposed to last four times as long as the normal strings i've had them on about a week now i'm going to um i'm going to play a let me just go back a little bit so that here we go I fitted them on my flamenco acoustic guitar here Said they've been on about five days now i've left it five days so that they're still stretching in a little bit i was a little bit concerned with that they, they have taken a little bit longer to stretch in the normal um, maybe that's because of a slightly lower tension could have something to do with the way that i tie my knots i do tend to double wrap them at the back there um, first impressions they're not quite as bright they're not certainly not quite as bright as the EJ27 classicals uh, maybe that's because of the coating I don't know um, and they're supposed to last four times as long and I'm already noticing that they're actually getting marked on the frets there within a week so two down points there apart from that they've got a nice mellow sound you can hear that the sustain stays beautiful on them they've got a lovely feel to them very mellow very mellow basses they're not very bright on the bass but that's nice if you're playing lots of jazz or, or blues which I do not so good for your flamenco ring I suppose um, all in all very nice feel to them gentle let, let me play a few a few bits and pieces so you can hear uh, what they sound like yourself and um, this is not plugged in at all it's completely as is um, acoustic sound so you can actually get to hear what the acoustic sound of it sounds I haven't plugged it in for that very reason and uh, here we go let's let's see what these are like Pro Arts um, Diodario Pro Art EXP 45s five days old on a flamenco Spanish built guitar sustain to them trebles ring out very clearly the only thing I would say is the bass is a little bit on the bass for my liking um, you might think differently um... but so far I'm quite pleased with them not overly impressed I must say uh, for the simple reason is these are twice the price of the strings that I took off um, and the strings I took off were slightly brighter um, but apart from that they're good strings all round strings
nice feel to them. They do ring nicely. Would I put them on again? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to probably try the Diodario Folk next. They, they're um, slightly higher tension, but they're apparently slightly mellower as well. Um, I'm really not sure, to be honest with you. But I think I need to use them a little bit longer. But I have to say, the sustain just rings on them. It's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, that. I think I need to use them a little bit longer to get a full to get a full opinion on them. Um, would I buy them again? Maybe I'm still a little bit concerned that they're still going out of tune after a week, but apart from that, I can't really find much fault in them. They're just personal opinion what can I say um, I do like them I do like them I'm not sure if I would pay the extra price um, because they're coated I'm not sure maybe it's the coating that, that I'm not 100% happy with I mean you, you've obviously you'll obviously have your own idea if, if you've been playing with uh, the Diadario coated strings I, I did um uh, a review on the EXP 15s that I have fitted their steel strings fitted on my evasion guitar I'll leave the link for that for you down below so you can have a listen to that and I'm absolutely blown away with those the the, the steel strings are absolutely gorgeous um, you can you can see my review I'll leave a link at the bottom for you to check that review I'm not I'm not that impressed with the uh, EXP 45 the coated nylon strings uh, as I was with the coated steel strings just my personal opinion would I go out and buy them again I may it might as well the other thing as well that did come across my mind was it could be that they're not suited to the particular guitar I've got they might be more suited to a, um, <clears throat> a solid wood uh, classical guitar I mean mine's not mine's flamenco with uh, cypress top and um, spruce top and cypress sides so it might they might be more suited to a, a classical if you like a cedar top mahogany back and side solid wood uh, then you probably get a really nice warm tension out if you know any different please leave me a comment below because I'd love to hear your opinions on them um, what I will be doing is very shortly probably when I've worn them in a little bit and worn them out because I do play them every day uh, put a set of the Diodario folk strings ball end because I like the idea of not having to tie the ends um, put a set of uh, their folk ball end strings on them and do a review on that later um, that's it for now please if you've enjoyed this put a little uh, thumbs up on the bottom share it with your friends and uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks for dropping by anyway <laughs>